Top Karen freakouts. I don't want to hear you. I'm not on your property. Stop coming towards me. What is going on, guys? Shot clips here once again. I'm reaching out some wild clips of Karens literally freaking out in public. In this first one, this woman is definitely insane. Basically, I guess there are these construction workers and they're trying to do their own job. And well, they have the street blocked off because they're doing construction on the road. And there is this Karen who is so, so damn mad that there is construction going on this road that she decides to come out of her car and curse out literally every single construction worker. And these guys are recording her because, well, they know she's a Karen. Just please listen to the stupidity because she's like, what is so important that's going on here? You guys have to do construction like it's any of her damn business to be honest all she needs to know is there's cones and you should just drive around the other way This next Karen definitely pisses me off the most on the list. Basically, I think her son lost her phone, and I guess when he lost it, it was around this guy who's recording. Now he's black, and I guess he has tattoos on, and she's literally racially profiling him, all because of his, the color of his skin. And he literally calls her out for that. He, he actually was being so polite with her, he's giving her his ID. He pulled out his wallet, his phone, showing him everything out of his pockets, and she still assumed that he had it to the point where she was on the phone with the police, convinced that this man literally had the phone. And after he literally just waited for her, he's like, yo, I'm gonna stay here as long as you need, because I'm just trying to prove to you that I do not have his phone. And for some reason, she is convinced that he does. And it just pisses me off and how people can just be so, so racist. Please check out this clip. Okay, everybody watching this lady on the phone. She accused me of stealing her son's phone. Follow me outside the store. First, she's eyeing me in the store. As soon as her son happened to lose her phone, I guess I was around looking for blinds and she started looking at me. And I know I'm black with tattoos and she automatically assumed I had it. His location says it's me. I have no have no on her son's phone, but she's followed me outside of Walmart. I'm here in Moreno Valley. She, oh, location. she came looking for a location, but it's right by my car. She runs up to me and says, excuse me, you have my son's phone? I pull my phone out and tell her I do not, as well as my money and my ID, and tell her who I am and I do not steal. And she continues. She's holding me. The only reason I'm not leaving is because I don't have a phone. That's why I'm not leaving. What's your name, ma'am? If you don't mind me asking, is it okay if I have your name? Let's get, let's come talk to her. No problem okay, at all. Now you're recording me. No problem. I have a right to. I didn't come out here. I said, excuse no, me, no. do you have my son's phone? But and when I told you, you I, no, phone. you did. I did not come at you like you that. Did. No, you did. No, I did not. You did. Sir, And when I you're running not. after me and following me, believe me, I've been racially profiled so long. Hello? And I'm very scared of that. Yes. You understand I'm waiting, right? Because you're wrong. Then let's fix this. We'll wait until the police are here. You decide it yourself. What will happen when you're wrong? What happens? What do I get? Just an apology? Sure. That's not good enough. No, we're me. staying here until you give me my phone because it I marks that you're here. I don't have the phone. No. Now this is where things change for the man basically she ends up finding her phone it was left inside her car and when this man finds out that she actually finds it boy he doesn't let anything back he goes wild on her for accusing that he had it. Ma'am, you're nope. really crazy. You're following yep, me now. Now I am. That's cool. Because that that phone a has cost me money. Not good yes. enough. A sorry, no. a sorry person isn't well, good enough for me. Of shit, and now a I sorry. am accusing you. You said you were staying here because you have nothing oh, to report. You're accusing me. Her son found the phone. Her son found it though. It was in the car. Her son found it in the car. So now I'm going to press charges. Ma'am, may I have your name, please? May I have your name, please, ma'am? No. No. Okay, that's okay. I'll get your license plate. Now this next clip, this Karen actually pisses me off the most out of all the Karens on the list. Basically, she has a doctor's appointment and she has to wear her mask in order to get inside. And she's using this dumb excuse that she doesn't want to. And not only that, she also has this vape and she's blowing the vape in the guy's face as talking to her to wear the mask. And he's actually getting really mad and upset that, you know, she's blowing literally smoke in his face because during COVID, if you do this, it's it's so much disrespect. Like who the hell would ever do this? And then now she starts making up some dumb excuse that she has some lung issues, but clearly not if she's vaping, like it makes no no sense at all. Definitely one of the most annoying Karens on this list. 
This next one is definitely the craziest one on the list. Basically, there is this woman who goes completely berserk after being called a Karen. And well, what does she decide to do? She decides to call the police, literally call the cops and tell the cops, hey, this guy's calling me a Karen. And I think she thought they were, they were going to arrest him for calling her that. And the cops try to calm her down on the phone. But when she realizes the cops are not going to come to save her from this guy who's calling her a Karen, she goes even crazier and starts screaming in public. She even starts making these false allegations that this guy has a shotgun on him when he literally does it. He has nothing on him and she's like oh i'm scared for my life he might kill me just pay attention to the end of the clip because she decides to do something so stupid i literally burst it out laughing while i was watching this clip and don't call me karen because i'm not a white privilege i'm not backing down no i don't feel safe to go home i'm not going to go to my condos until a police officer comes to help me Nine one one is here to help, so I'm not backing down. He had a sh on ready. I'm not gonna leave the Jiffy Loop because I'm a homeowner and I'm tired of the way the Jiffy Loop lets their drivers go in and out of my condo. I'm not. I was walking to the gas station to turn in my Shell tickets, and every time I walk from my condo to the Shell, I get attacked. No! I live at these condos that connect to the shell. So no, I'm not going to a different shell station. I don't want to hear you! Stop! I'm not on your property! Stop coming towards me! And finally, for the dumbest one on the list, basically there is this guy at McDonald's and he's trying to order. And I guess basically he was he parked his car, but there was not many few parking spots and it, this woman thought it belonged to her. But when he pulled in, this woman was so mad that she literally stepped out of her car, went to this guy's window and she's like, hey, you took my spot. I'm trying to feed my kids. And he basically tells her, he's like, hey, you know, it's a parking spot. I can take whatever I want. She's like, but I have kids who need food. You don't. And she starts getting super mad. And I don't think because you have kids is a good excuse that you have access to all parking lots. And she starts going completely crazy crazy just please pay attention to her voice i i hate people's voices like this and she actually thinks just because she was born in this area where the mcdonald's was that she has full access to it because she was born there and this man wasn't i can't believe the odds of people and i can't believe people like this actually exist and they actually think they're right okay, video let's just take a video if you're yeah. gonna if you're going to verbally harass me then i'm gonna take a video but you were rude and then i told you we're here to get food for my kids and you're like oh you could their kids can wait there, there was a, an entire spot. No, I'm sorry, no. Y'all weren't pulled up to yeah, the Yeah, we were in here, yes. Then as God as wouldn't... my witness. Then I wouldn't have really? room. Really, you think it's funny? You think it's funny? I wouldn't have room to pull in front of you. Because you are being rude. That doesn't make sense. Being rude doesn't make sense? I wouldn't have had space Being rude pulling. doesn't make sense? No. Being rude doesn't make sense? It doesn't. Are you from the Muren? I'm from Greenwood. <laughs> That's why. Okay. I'm born and raised in Van Buren. Maybe you should go to order in Greenwood. Okay. Okay. Have you ordered your food? Uh, I was waiting for him to get back to me. Um, well, you know what? They're not going to get back to you. Okay. Today's shadow winner goes to this comment saying literally anything. And pretty much if you comment literally anything, I will give you guys a shout out. And this guy took it seriously. But that does do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.